Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to draw ellipses in AutoCAD. So, pretty basic function, pretty basic lesson. You're not going to use ellipses too much in the 2D mode, but you will use them a little bit more in the 3D. Uh, but let's get into it. Alright, so to create ellipse, we're going to start by going to the ellipse button. So the ellipse button is right up here in the draw box underneath the home tab. And you're going to have three options. We're going to have the center, axis, end, <clears throat> and the elliptical arc. So the center is kind of bringing it from the center to you pick a radius to the other end. Then you have the axis, which is the three ends, and then you have the arc. So we're going to go over all three, but the first one's going to be the center. And we're going to bring that down here to this cross to kind of give a reference view of what the ellipses look like and how the different ones function. But for this first one, we're going to, so since we're doing the center one, we have the center point, which we're going to left hand click. Then it's asking us to create our first radius. So we're going to go up. And we'll do the first radius at one unit or one foot for me. You're going to enter. And then you can drag this ellipse out. And as you can see, it's from the center to the radius. And we're coming out, we'll call it four foot. So that creates a centered ellipse around that cross. The next option you have is the axis to end. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a diameter effect, if you will, versus the radius that we just saw. So, for example here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start right here. We're going to go up to one foot, or one unit. And as you can see, it's about half the size. And when we're going to come out to four feet, we'll go four. And as you can see, it comes out the same length, but it's roughly half the size or a little bit condensed. So the third ellipse you can make is more of an elliptical arc. And to do that, we're going to go down here. We're going to click elliptical arc. And I'm just going to do this outside of the cross. But what we do <coughs> is we center it. We're going to click the left hand button on your mouse. Left click. And then we're going to say it goes up two feet. Okay. So obviously you have this ellipse that you can kind of come out whenever which way you want. And we'll bring it out a good, we'll say three feet. Okay, so the next thing, and this is what makes it different from the other ellipses, right, is the fact that it is now going to let you or specify an angle. And this angle is going to shave off a specific point of your ellipse. So, for example, uh, we'll go with an angle right here, 335. We're going to type that in, press enter, and then we're going to type one other angle in to give us the cutoff points. So that's the entry cutoff point, which is 335 degrees, and we're going to say 200 is the other cutoff point. 200, enter. There you go. You have an ellipse that has a little bit of it cut off. So if you do some basic math, you could line that up a little bit more, but basically that allows you to kind of cut off an ellipse without using the trim function. Alright, so that's going to be it for drawing an ellipse. I uh, hope the video was helpful. Again, a pretty basic function, and you'll use it more when you're using 3D or doing 3D objects in CAD. Not too much in the 2D realm, but if you have any better ways to do things, or I'm missing something, please leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if it was helpful, and I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.